yeah friends so in this video we will be talking about the this is actually the part 2 of the general pharmacology and we'll be talking about the pharmacokinetics uh, which we said in the previous video that it is the effect of the body on the drug that is how your drug is moving through the body how your uh, drug is coming out of the body so that is all the mechanisms uh, we will be uh, studying today in the pharmacokinetics so pharmaco kinetics so if you see the pharmacokinetics it's actually happening uh, into various you know we can group them in sub in some subheadings that is uh, there's there's a f famous uh, mnemonic that's ADME so it's not famous actually it's just naturally your brain can also make it it's uh, absorption distribution metabolism and excretion so this is an ADME study it's an ADME study and to understand the pharmacokinetics much better let's first start with the very first one that is the absorption so absorption what is basically the technical meaning of absorption absorption means when you are giving a drug at a point for example I have a drug at this point and this is my blood circulation this is my blood circulation and if a drug is able to move if a drug is able to move from site A to site B in the blood circulation we say this concept is absorption so absorption is basically when you are administering a drug at a site for example in this case the case of site A and that drug is able to move from this site A to your blood circulation we say the process is absorption the process is absorption that means there should be some factors which should be governing the absorption and there are several factors which are actually uh, you know uh, governing the absorption so for example you are take, taking a drug from your oral route so you are taking a drug from your oral route so that means it has to go into the gastrointestinal tract once it goes into the gastrointestinal tract it has to get absorbed isn't it to reach the blood circulation so to reach the blood it has to cross the membranes and we know from the basic concepts of our biochemistry and the uh, you know the cell uh, physiology that if you want to go if you want to pass through the cell membrane you should be enough lipid soluble you should be enough lipid soluble meaning thereby that you have to be in a non ionized form then only you can become lipid soluble or in other words if you want to become soluble in water you have to you need to get ionized first so if you want to get dissolved or you want to get soluble in water for example you had in your elementary chemistry the sodium chloride the Na positive and Cl negative dissociation was happening in the water in the same way you are giving a drug and if you want it to get absorbed if you want to get absorbed in the blood circulation means it has to cross the cell membrane to reach that circulation and for reaching the circulation you need to become membrane soluble your membrane is made up of lipids that means you should become lipid soluble as simple as that isn't it so therefore if you want to become absorbable you should become lipid soluble but this happens this this concept is applying to the lipid you know it's governed by the lipid solubility so we can write the absorption is primarily the most important factor we can say is lipid solubility so lipid solubility should be put in a box which is governing the absorption if you have a drugs which are lipid soluble you are able to absorb more again if we say if we want to make a drug soluble if you want to make a drug soluble in lipids we have to make it in a non ionized form and if you have to make a drug water soluble then you can say it is in the ionized form isn't it that means it will depend on the medium also in which the drug is placed so that means 
if i have a drug which is acidic in nature if a drug is acidic in nature if a drug is acidic in nature it can only cross the membrane it can only cross the medium in an acidic medium it can only cross the membrane in an acidic medium that means acidic thing acidic substance in acidic medium gives me a happiness that yeah i can reach the blood circulation basic drug if a drug is basic in nature basic drug in a basic medium will cross the membrane means if you give a drug which is acidic in nature and you give it in a medium for example your acidic medium is the gid tract your uh, stomach and your stomach is acidic it is having a ph of 1.5 to 2 so is a single acidic place in your you know you have a best acidic place in your body that is the stomach where you have a you know uh, you have some exceptional things also let us not go into that but if you give a drug which is acidic in nature you will appreciate the fact that the drug is able to cross the membrane so that means we need to also learn some drugs which are weak acids that is acidic in nature and we also need to understand which drugs are basic drugs so i have made a mnemonic i have made a mnemonic uh, actually i saw some people they were very much confused about uh, which drug is acidic which drug is basic so i made myself a mnemonic how i remember is i put them masters in bnp masters in bnp so masters in bnp is equal to what is m m is methotrexate S is sulfonamides. B stands for barbiturates. N stands for NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. For example, your aspirin, your diclofenac sodium, isn't it? So aspirin. Let's write some examples. Aspirin, diclofenac sodium. and much more and p stands for your penicillins that means all these drugs are acidic drugs if these drugs are acidic drugs means when you are taking them in the stomach they will get absorbed from the stomach because you are giving a drug which is acidic in nature and your stomach is also acidic same drug same media is equal to absorption same drug same media absorption same drug different media not absorbed why this is happening there should be a reason why we are giving the same medium to a same drug to get absorbed but before going into that let us write some basic drugs also for your convenience so ms this is ms bnp and let us write about the basic drugs basic drugs i remember by mnemonic h a a q m hakim so hakim is hyoscine h stands for hyoscine a stands for atropine a stands for amphetamines q stands for quinine m stands for morphine that means if i give a basic drug for example i have morphine and i take this morphine will it get absorbed more in the stomach or in the duodenum since we know from the physiology duodenum is much more alkaline more basic than the stomach that means morphine should get absorbed more at in the duodenum as compared to the stomach same way goes for the aspirin aspirin comes in the nsaid from our mnemonic msbnp so nsaid is an acidic drug will go into the stomach stomach is acidic will get absorbed in the stomach itself so i hope you are not having any difficulty second thing to understand is why this thing is happening actually when you are giving the same medium to the drug there is a concept of ionization and the 
concept of ionization states that if you are if you are giving a drug the same concept if you are making something more acidic or you are reaching towards the more acidic ph if a drug is acidic and if you are giving a basic drug and maintaining the medium as basic the things will start getting absorbed they will start getting absorbed start getting crossed through the cell membranes which is lipid soluble so if you are changing the ph in the range of acidic ph you will be doing more solubility to the drug so drug will become more soluble if you are giving it the same ph difference for example if i give a range of 1 to 7 and you say sir 1 to 7 is a it's a mostly it's a, it below 7 you are start going towards the basic sorry the acidic below 7 you start going towards the acidic so 3 is acidic 2 is acidic 4 is acidic once you start going towards 6 7 8 9 you start going towards the alkaline or the basic value so once you are doing the below 7 fluctuations to a drug you are going more towards the one that means you are actually giving that acidic drug a very nice medium to get absorbed i hope this is clear from the above uh, above concepts but if you are giving an alkaline drug a basic drug for example morphine for example atropine for example amphetamines for example quinine for example hyacine and giving it a very nice ph of 8 or 9 it's quite 100% possibility not possibility even 100% this thing will happen that the drug will be able to get absorbed so we need to to make the our entrance examination very much simple and once we are solving some questions on ph related to uh, pk values or absorption in our um, uh, post graduation examination we need to write we need to make a generalization actually from your concept of biochemistry you know there is an equation known as henderson hasselbach equation henderson hasselbach equation states that ph is equal to pka plus log of protonated form divided by unprotonated form but to be very much truthful to you people i haven't used this equation while i was solving my questions i never used this equation i have made a generalization i follow a generalization to make it easy and the generalization is if ph of a medium is equal to pka of a drug that means if i do the difference of these two ph minus pka is equal to 0 so 0 i treat as a difference so at d is equal to 0 the ionization will be 50% and non ionized form will be 50% so 50% will be ionized and 50% will be non ionized if i see if i see in a question that ph minus pka is equal to 1 that is difference is equal to 1 so one form so we are not really sure it will depend on the medium we will be looking at so first we will like to first find the form so one form the major form is to be 90% and second form will be 10% if i see ph minus pka is equal to 2 that means the difference is equal to 2 one form will be 99% of that drug and another form will be 1% so one form is 90% other form is 10% in case of d is equal to 1 if d is equal to 2 one form will be 99% other form will be 1% and if pka ph minus pka is equal to 3 that means d is equal to 3 that means one form will be 99.9% and one another other form will be 0.1% so to understand this better 
and to give you a feeling of understanding I will do some examples for you for example I take a pk value pk is equal to 5 so pk of a drug is equal to 5 this is an example if pk is equal to 5 and say I have a pH is equal to 3 start doing what I have taught you directly say pH minus pK so 5 minus 3 the difference is 2 and I have told you here that difference is 2 then one form is 99% other form will be 1% of this drug having the pK value of 5 meaning thereby if the P K is 5 and 3 is more acidic form so PK is equal to 5 that is it is an acidic drug mostly an acidic drug going towards the base uh, acidic medium that means the drug will get absorbed there is no no problem and if we say that acidic drug is put in acidic medium then I mean it's sure that you will say sir the non-ionized form will be more so out of these choose the non-ionized form because we know from the concept above that non-ionized form can only pass through the membrane and since here the drug is acidic going into the acidic medium it will get absorbed no problem 1% will be ionized second example I take I take the same drug PK value of 5 and I take PKA PKA is equal to 5 okay same now I decrease the pH or I increase the pH to 4 now take a difference pH minus pKa is equal to 5 minus 4 is equal to 1 I taught you if the difference is 1 this is a beautiful generalization that has helped me every time so 90% will be so 90% of the drug will be there will be one form which will be 90% uh, and other form will be 10% that means now I have to decide which form is ionized which form is non ionized since the drug is acidic it's going into the medium of 4 that means the majority of the drug should be in a non ionized form because I know from the concept non ionized form will be absorbed it is lipid soluble and 10% is ionized form which will not get absorbed let us do another example I have a pK the same drug of 5 and I have a pH of let's say 6 or 5 or I say I say 5 okay because 5 will give you a different answer so pKa oh sorry pH minus pKa is equal to 5 minus 5 so 5 minus 5 is 0 and 5 minus 5 is 0 and I have told you about generalization that if d is equal to 0 50% is ionized 50% is non ionized so we do like this 50% is one form 50% is another form you don't need to even think whether how much form is 50 50 because it's 50 50 so 50 is ionized another 50 is non ionized pKa is equal to 5 and now I increase the medium pH of 8 so I do a difference pH minus pK is equal to 8 minus 5 that is 3 and I taught you if the difference is coming 3 one form will be 99.9% .9 and another form will be 0.1% as you know you are draw you are putting a drug into the basic medium you are putting a drug into the basic medium and an acidic drug the nature is acidic and acidic into a basic it is definitely telling us that one form major form should be non ionized sorry major form should be ionized major form should be ionized and little form will be non ionized or absorbable I hope there is no problem with this concept and we have nailed it I hope you understood it better and if you want to make more videos like this kindly subscribe and in the next video we will be talking about the uh, bioavailability the distribution and the pharmacodynamics thank you